Morning everybody. We're in Kenora, Ontario. We're gonna pick up our load. We get there in about half an hour. I wanna be there early. They open up at seven and I wanna be there between 6.30, 6.45. I wanna be the first one in there, but that's probably not likely. Somehow, guys always seem to beat me. Even though they don't open their gates early, but everyone wants to be loaded first. But I really wanna be loaded first. So maybe I'll beat everybody today, who knows? We'll find out when we get there. Don't wanna waste any time. Let's get going. Beautiful town here. At the world of Bob Tate, the second exit is 600 meters. This is cottage country. So I'm pretty sure Kenora like, triples or quadruples in population in summertime. Maybe I'm way off on that, but the population definitely grows quite a bit when the snow melts. Then again, in wintertime, you have a lot of people coming out here for snowmobiling, right? And the whole countryside around here is all just peppered with cottages. All right, we gotta go around this tiny little uh, roundabout here. This should be fun. No heavy trucks that way. Well, we're not planning on going that way. We're planning on going this way. Not that way. Under the bridge. Narrow bridge, I gotta wait for this pickup. Beautiful in summer. And sometimes I wish we had summer all year long, but then I remember if you have summer all year long, it's not a special. You can't have summer without winter. Everything has to have a balance. Otherwise, summer would just be a regular everyday day. Not special at all. I bet you they think that they got here first. No, they know, they know how it works. Nice. Thank you for understanding. Well, there's three guys that got here before me. I got here at quarter to seven and they open up at seven. They'll let you into the gate early sometimes. Three guys still got in here before me. Oh well, what can I do? What can I do? So, those three guys have got to get loaded and they've got to get tarped. But there's only three, so you can tarp two at a time. And one of the guys up here I know, I know him from when I was a kid. He's a friend of my dad and I was friends with his kids. Now we're all grown with our own kids already. But uh, anyway, he's been driving a long time too, just like my dad. So he, he'll be quick. So you can tarp two at a time. There's only three guys in front of me. So two guys will get loaded and start tarping while the next two get loaded and then we'll come in behind them and have to wait for them to finish tarping. I can always help, help him tarp to get him out of there faster, but I bet you anything by the time I get there, he'll already be tarped and gone. He's pretty fast. So I'm, I'm not too worried. I think I'll be able to get loaded, tarped and delivered. I have to get down to Brainerd before 4.30 tonight. So 
let's get geared up here. Got to put on my Sunday best, my brain bucket, my vest, everything else. Let's go get my paperwork all in order and let's start twiddling our thumbs until 7 a.m. when they'll start loading us. And then it'll be a rush. It'll be a rush day. No stopping. We're off to the races and it's a race. Race against time. Me and Brian are on our way south now. He's the guy who uh, drives the other W900. You guys have seen him. We're both trying to get down to Brainerd before they leave. We're already cleared for the border. So there's nothing really standing in our way as long as there's nothing on the highway. You know, deer or accidents or check stops or whatever. We're gonna have to push it, but we should just make it. As soon as I get over the border, I'm gonna call the receiver to let him know that we're in the US. There's two of us coming, but the exact same load. That we should be there probably around four o'clock, four to 4.30. We'll see, hopefully that won't be too late.
was quick. We made the best time ever. No stops. But we got unloaded. Brian's inside there right now. He's got that old uh, Kenworth W9, just like mine. Once he's unloaded, we both gotta head up to Thief River Falls, Minnesota. Thief River is about three hours from where we are now. Probably a little bit more because it's two lane highway. So three and a half hours. And I've gotta find myself a coffee sooner than later. I should be able to get there, pick up my load and just barely make it to the border and get into Canada. We'll see. It doesn't really matter if I don't, it's okay too. both empty uh, or both headed to the same spot again so Brian's behind me in his KW so I'm gonna pull into Pillager for coffee and fuel fuel myself up fuel all blew up did really good today it was a rush day but we got her done we achieved the goals we both have a trailer waiting for us in Thief River Brian started from his house today so uh, I started from Kenora, so I'm, I'll have a few more hours than him. We'll see. I, I keep saying that I want to make it back across the border. I don't really know why I have that big ambition to do that, because it doesn't matter if I don't. <laughs> but I'm just setting a goal for myself today, and the goal was to get back into Canada tonight. That's the goal. So I'm pushing myself towards that, though, you know, if I don't quite make it, that's okay. I'm not on a deadline or anything. But if I sleep on the Canadian side of the border, I only have to stop for eight hours. But if I stop on the American side of the border, I have to stop for 10 hours. So I get home two hours later. But I don't know if I'm going home tomorrow. I might be going back into the US. That sort of was the plan. And if I am going back into the US, I need to stop for 10 hours anyway. Doesn't matter what side of the border I'm on. So really it doesn't matter if I get back into Canada tonight or not at all does not matter but we're still pushing for it because i made that my goal brian has done a good job on that kenworth he's had it for eight or nine years now before that uh there was another driver in it who owned it for a while and before that back in 2011 2012 i was driving that truck i was thinking about buying it and i backed out at the time maybe i should have bought it <laughs> but I'm kind of glad that I didn't because now I got old blue. And Brian's got that Kenworth. Oh, he got stuck at the light, shoot. This way we can cruise down the highway as W900 buddies. And we each have one, right? Ah, uh, probably gonna lose him now in town. He'll catch up to me in Pillager. I don't know if he's pulling in there or not to grab coffee and a fuel. I mean, we don't have to run convoy up to Thief River. But it's kind of nice to have someone to talk to. It's a perfect day outside. Beautiful. So we're at the Casey's in Pillager, Minnesota. Grab some fuel. Brian's gonna take the lead for the rest of the trip. Got about, yeah, we still got about another three hours up to Thief River there. I've been in the lead all day, so. I don't like leading the pack all the time. <laughs> I guess it doesn't really matter, but. I wanna look at his nice truck, that's the real reason. I 
I just cleaned my windshield too. As soon as the sun shines on it, eh? Made it to Thief River Falls. I ran out of hours. Couldn't quite make it back to Canada tonight. So we'll do the rest tomorrow. There's not much to do tomorrow by the sounds of it anyway. So I'll probably bring this trailer back to the yard, head to the shop, and then go home. And then it is Canada Day and Independence Day weekend. So I'm looking forward to that. It was a really long day. We drove, whoa, 500 miles, 600 miles. Oh, I have to check in the morning. So we started, I started in Kenora, and then we went over, got to uh, the customer or the shipper. I was hoping to get loaded a little quicker there too. It took a little bit to get me loaded, but that was okay. We still got loaded in time, and then uh, Brian came there as well to load. I didn't know that he was going to be there, but it was really cool that he was, because then we got to run together all day today. Uh, really great guy. I enjoy running with him. And so we were going to the same place, so we helped each other tarp, and then we helped each other untarp, and uh, then we had our next reload that's bringing us home at the same place as well. So we sort of convoyed around Minnesota today together. I'm really tired now. Like I said, uh, I was hoping to be able to make it back into Canada tonight. Not gonna happen. We're going to bed right here. <laughs> here. I'll be up first thing in the morning and uh, continue on then. Thanks for watching today, everybody, and hanging out. It was a busy day. Busy day. But I'll see you again tomorrow. <sighs>